Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today we're gonna do a, a mail call, I guess is what you know what you would call it or what you would assume. It's just a couple of pickups that I got uh, in the past couple of days. Usually I don't do these types of videos, uh, but I'm just, I'm really excited for what I got. Uh, I, I've kind of waited a little bit. I waited on a couple sales here and there, but either way, let's jump into it. So I already cut this open just because, I mean, it'd be kind of easier. I don't think you guys want to see me open up a box. Even when I do unboxings, I edit out the point where I open up the box because who wants to watch a video of just some dude opening up a box? Either way, we'll throw that over there and we'll get into these. So these are Kino Lorber titles, two movies that I was really excited to pick up. Uh, they went on sale, I think they were like 26 bucks or something like that. Uh, the one that I do have on here just came out last week, so I'm excited it finally got here. There's definitely going to be a 4K review on this because I, I, I just really enjoy this movie and the ending is spectacular. So, first one, Mystery Men, 4K. If you haven't seen this movie, you should. It's just like a weird, dumb humor type of movie. It's like if the Avengers were kidnapped and gone and you had to pick up the you know C team or the D team, this is what you would get. I mean, it's got Dane Cook as, I think, the grill man, and he burns himself. Like, it's got Kel from Keenan and Kel. It's got, I mean, it's got it's William H. Macy, Ben Stiller. Like, there's a lot of good actors in this movie. It's just really like a, I don't know, it's just an over-the-top, you know, superhero movie, I guess. But either way, excited to watch this. I, it's been a long time since I've watched this. I don't even think it had a Blu-ray. I think it was just a DVD. So either way, I enjoy this movie. This next movie is the reason I made this order in the first place. I didn't want to just buy one movie, so that's why I kind of waited A, for a deal, and then B, I wanted to get two or three movies at a time, so I figured might as well jump on the two, and then I got free shipping on top of that. So The Taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3, the original that came out in 1974. I, I mean, this movie, again, like I said, is amazing. The The ending itself is, I, I don't know, I just, I, I just enjoy this movie a lot. And to see this on 4K, like I said, I'm, I'm super excited to see how this looks, how this sounds. Kino Lorber has done an amazing job with their 4Ks. They've been putting out a lot in 2022, and they already have a lot that are supposed to be coming out in 2023. Uh, so, Kino Lorber might be taking over the 4K title, because Scream Factory really hasn't... I know I know they're a huge company, and I know everybody loves Scream Factory and Shout Factory, but it seems like every time 4K comes out for Scream Factory, it seems like there's always an issue with it. Not always, but most of the time, especially a lot of their big stuff. It just seems like there's always an issue with Kino Lorber. I've never had an issue with their, their movies. They always look great. They ship really quick, too. They shipped, I think, two days ago, and it's already here. So pick this up if you haven't. Shop Kino Lorber if you don't. Just an awesome company overall. So next one. I cut it open, so it's a little easier. Oh, maybe you saw it was in there already. But it's from Amazon. There's five movies in here total, but two actual, like, items. So one, I just was waiting on a sale, waiting on a sale. It finally dropped down, I think 50, 60% off. So I jumped on it, they're awesome movies. The second one, I really didn't know existed. I thought it was only on DVD and I just kind of, I've seen the movie, but I've always been waiting to pick it up on Blu-ray or maybe even 4K, but I highly doubt that ever happens just cause it's more of an indie film. But without further ado, let's stop talking about the movies and actually show you the movies. So the first one from this package is going to be Haunt. Again, like I said, on Blu-ray. I really had no idea this was out. Uh, and it was also, I think, like 30, 40% off anyways. I think it ended up being, I think, 15, 16 bucks, something like that. So I definitely jumped on this. I, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's a, it's an indie movie. I think it came out on Shudder. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's who produced it. But either way, it's an awesome movie. It's a really good kind of like a scary haunt movie. It's basically a, a haunt that goes wrong. So it's definitely an enjoyable movie. There's a couple of good twists here and there in this movie as well. So go pick it up. I think, honestly, it only had like 15 left on Amazon. So who knows, maybe everybody's buying them up and then you'll get those third party dealers that are gonna charge 30, 40 bucks for them. But pick it up as quick as you can. So the next item up is something that I've been waiting for 
uh, to go on sale. I really didn't want to pay full price, maybe that's just me, but a lot of the stuff online I feel like I can get for a better price if I just hold out on it. Some things I want to pick up as soon as possible, but this I felt I can wait. I've seen the movies before, but they're just so enjoyable. They're probably the top five greatest found footage movies of all time, especially with the first one. But either way, let's jump into it. So it's Wreck. Wreck 1, 2, 3, and 4. I, they're just great fun footage movies. Maybe the last one's not the best, but I mean, I just have to rewatch them too, honestly. I've seen all of them, but it's been a little while since I've seen all of them. I mean, you get a nice, cool, hard box set from, you know, Scream Factory. I just, I love, I, I enjoy these movies a lot. I guess I wouldn't say I love these movies, but I enjoy these movies a lot. They're really good. And I know they had an American version, but it just doesn't hold up. The Spanish version is definitely 10 times better. All right, so like I said, smaller, shorter video, just a little mail call. I was just really excited to pick these up. Again, one I didn't even know was on Blu-ray, so definitely excited to pick that up. But what'd you guys think of my pickups? Did you like them? You know, are you going to watch them? I'll definitely put a review out for taking Pelham 123. If you want a review for, you know, Mystery Men, definitely let me know. I'll put that out too because I'm excited to watch that. And then have you seen any of the wrecks? Have you seen one through four? Do you love them? Do you just own this? Because I know a lot of people probably do because it's definitely a popular collection to have. Either way, leave it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We're slowly creeping to 200 subscribers. So slowly getting there and then you know then 300 then 400 then 500 so thank you guys for watching definitely enjoy everybody that comments likes do all that fun stuff thank you i appreciate it and we'll see you guys in another video